Okay, we've got a quote from here from Lady Macbeth who is being haunted by her guilt. She cannot come to terms with the fact that she's responsible for Duncan's murder and all the things that his, this has led to. So all the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Some amazing language to zoom in on here. Firstly, we've got the hyperbole, all the perfumes of Arabia, every single perfume in all of Arabia. Um, it it emphasises this desperation that she feels um, with the guilt that she's got from murdering King Duncan, um, which has obviously come upon her quite rapidly after initially not being bothered by it at all. So why perfumes of Arabia? Well, this is where it gets quite interesting. Arabian perfumes were the most prestigious, hugely expensive. Nobody in Scotland would have been to Arabia. Um, you can't get there by horse very easily. It'd take weeks and weeks and months and months. An incredibly dangerous voyage. So to get a perfume from Arabia would be incredibly expensive. But why perfumes? Why is she trying to sweeten her hand with perfume? What does this mean? Well, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So let's take it step by step. There's a few stages here. Firstly, step one, evil is compared to a disease within the play. In the linked quotes box there in the red, you can see that there's lots of quotes that kind of suggest that evil is a disease or an illness. Um, Lady Macbeth says that Macbeth himself has ambition, but not the illness that should attend it. And what she means there is the evil that should attend it, the evil that he needs to realise his ambition. So he's ambitious, but he's not evil enough. He doesn't have the illness of evil. When Macbeth is on his way to Duncan's chamber as well, he talks about his heat oppressed brain. Now, obviously, when you are ill, you get a fever. You can come hot, don't you? That's where you take your temperature. It's almost like he's got a fever from the evil act that he is committing. So, as I say, step one, evil is compared to a disease without the plague. So how does this link to perfumes? Well, stage two to understand this is that we need to understand that it was thought in Jacobean England, in fact, for a long time, thousands of years, that diseases could be spread through bad smells. These were called miasmas. So the miasma theory was that bad air spread disease. People even thought that actually you could catch obesity from smelling food. So it was this idea that disease was spread through smells. So back then to perfume. Why perfume? Because of course a perfume could cure or hide this disease. The disease was evil. So she's trying to sweeten her hand with all the perfumes of Arabia. The thing is what she's saying here is that all the perfumes of Arabia cannot get rid of this disease, this evil that is spread through her and now Scotland too. So complicated one there, but an amazing point if you want to make that. What about this sweet in this little hand then? So we don't understand about the perfumes and disease. Why is it a little hand? Well, hands symbolise responsibility throughout the play. So by describing her hand as little, she's trying to say, actually, my responsibility isn't all that big. Who's she trying to persuade here? Well, she's speaking to herself, isn't she? So the only person really that she's trying to persuade is herself. By describing her own hand as little, she's trying to persuade herself and her own guilt that her responsibility isn't that much.